Happy Saturday, guys. It is the 17th of September, and I thought I would do a quick little update recap on um, kind of where I'm at right now. I had somebody leave a comment on one of my videos that made a lot of sense how, like, a lot of people do these like prep series or transformation series and they forget to keep updating everyone on like their current macro changes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to let you guys, or keep you guys as updated as possible so you guys know exactly what I'm doing uh, week to week. So I did get a new adjustment on my macros on, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday earlier this week. Um, so my new macros are 280 protein, uh, 330 carb, and 56 fat. It's rough, guys. It is rough with this low of fat so far out. I'm not going to lie. And then my refeed got dropped down a little bit too. Uh, 235 protein, 530 carb and 64 fat so you guys just saw my refeed if you watched my i have a refeed video up where i think my refeed was 240 protein 550 carb 70 fat so this is lower already too so this is not good but this is kind of like part of the process but honestly it just kind of sucks that after i've taken three years off from competing my metabolism is not doing me any favors right now so uh on the positive though i finally finally dipped into the uh the i think i was 215.8 or 0.6 today so that is a new prep low and just to kind of recap i did start uh this prep on september 1st at 218 pounds so being kind of middle of the month and hitting a 215.6 or 215.8 that is kind of like in a, you know, realistic, honestly, with this long of a prep, I think anything, I think just reaching like a pound per week is, is probably more than enough. So that's the, that's the benefit of, of dieting this far out. Uh, another thing that got tweaked for the first two weeks, all I had for cardio was two uh, low intensity sessions. So I basically just walked my dog and then uh, the, in this new in this new adjustment on like I said either Tuesday or Wednesday, Cliff sent me the updates. Uh, he added in one hit session, um, so we just it's which is just five intervals. So I did my first one last night. I used a upright stationary bike. I did a little five minute warm up. I think like on like level five, just kind of a moderate type pace. And then as soon as I hit like five minutes, I stand up on the bike and I go balls out sprint for 15 seconds. So a 15 second interval. And then I lower the resistance back down. I think I, I bumped it up to like 15 or 16, stood up, sprinted, and then I lower it back down to five. And then I recoup, you know, catch my breath for 45 seconds and then do another interval until I get to five total. And then I did a five minute cool down to, uh, to finish last night. So it was like 15 minutes total, but holy crap, no lie. That was my first cardio session, like in a gym since 2013 prep. So conditioning wise right now, I'm definitely out of shape. So like after the first, I think it was the first two intervals, I was like, Holy shit, I almost thought I was gonna, excuse my language, I thought I was gonna puke, it was like so bad. So I know the more I do this, the more like my conditioning gets better and stuff like that, but oh my gosh, it was definitely like, whoo. And then of course, like whenever you're done with hit, your legs just feel so like, oh, it reminds me of football, like running gassers back in the day. But that is it guys. Uh, that's, like I said, I'm gonna do my best to kind of every single adjustment, I'll do better at kind of like letting you guys know uh, right away. I'm just doing my best to try to structure these videos out on workouts and vlogs and um, nutrition stuff and all that. But I'm heading to another, uh, a different gym that I usually go to. I just felt like switching up the scenery. So I'm gonna drive out to uh, a gym that's about 15 minutes from here where the one where my main gym is only like not even five but uh just felt like a different um change of scenery and plus i know they have a certain they have like the uh it's back day it's my back and tricep uh lower rep focus some more power focus and they have one of those what do i call it like t-bar the one where you kind of lay over it's chest supported like a t-bar 
whatever assisted row, which I haven't done that in forever. And I uh, really like that machine. So um, yeah, I might get some clips of this workout, but since you guys have already seen this workout, I'm probably gonna save uh, my next workout footage to include like new workouts that you guys haven't seen yet. So I'll see you guys in the next video or clip. Right, guys, I just got back from the gym. I had a really good uh, back and uh, tricep workout and um, I ended up stopping by Walmart on the way home. So I'm gonna show you guys some things that I picked up because I added in some new prep staples now that the uh, the old food intake's getting lower. So I'll show you guys what I got here. So started off with some, uh, I was out of my diet soda. So I switched it up from the diet root beer to the, uh, the diet Pepsi, uh, caffeine free, so I can uh, drink it late at night. And then um, I, am, I am starting to eat more oatmeal. Again, just another really good um, kind of volume carb that really helps kind of you know, satiety and all that stuff. So adding in the, uh, the oatmeal and then um, this popcorn's been a staple be just because it's uh, these little mini bags here and each mini bag is only uh, like two fats, uh, 25 carb and three protein with five grams of fiber. So I've been usually doing um, almost every night some popcorn and then obviously, um, I did switch up. I got some grapefruits, but I'm going back to the strawberries. I feel like I get more volume with the strawberries. So got more of that. And then I got, what is this? Oh, so I got some more sweet potatoes. I was kind of digging the sweet potatoes the other night. So I got two more uh, sweet potatoes. And then, oh, I got some more. Um, extra lean, uh, this is the 96.4 extra lean ground beef. I've wanted to get more chicken, but this Walmart was out of $1.99 a pound chicken, so I'll just wait. Um, I got some cheapo razors for uh, manscaping. <laughs> uh, more mushrooms, these have been amazing in my salads. Um, I'll use these on homemade pizzas too. And then this was a new find. Usually I get the Dannon Light and Feet, uh, Dannon Light and Fits, but Walmart has its own uh, Walmart brand. And this was like less than three dollars for uh, four, um, you know, Greek yogurt containers. The only difference, they're almost identical macros. This one just has one more carb than the uh, the Dannon Light and Fit. So this one's zero fat. Oh, let me kind of zoom in for you guys. Uh, zero fat. 10 carb and then 12 protein. So the Gannon Light and Fits are nine grams of carbs, but these were like 50 cents less for a package of four compared to the Gannon Light and Fits. And here's some new things that I did get. So uh, pumpkin, uh, canned pumpkin is a great uh, kind of filler. You can add it in oats. Um, you can add it in, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, if you want to like maybe bake some protein muffins or something, it's really good. I swear this used to be nine grams, but now it's 10. A lot has changed in the last three years, I've noticed. I'll go over one thing, but I noticed that, oh, that is just too close, guys. I noticed they don't have uh, fat-free freaking Pringles anymore. Man, the fat-free barbecue Pringles were like a staple in my diet last prep. And one other thing that I noticed, um, I'm gonna show you here, I don't know, they don't have my old, I used to, back in the 2013, there was a Sara Lee bread that had, it was like seven carbs per slice. So two slices were 14 carbs. Uh, this was the lowest bread I could find and it is Sara Lee. It's this uh, Sara Lee delightful 45 calories. But macros on this, you're at one fat, this is for two slices, one fat, 18 carb, six protein. So not 14 carbs like in 2013, I can't find. If you guys have any other suggestions for a lower calorie bread, but I cannot, this is the lowest macro bread uh, I could find. But this will help me though, because I'm usually having a couple slices of toast in the morning. So, and I might get back on that uh, 
start making some French toast again. And then here's another new thing that I got. Um, Snickerdoodle, uh, Larry and, or Lenny and Larry's, the complete, the, whatever, complete cookie. I got the, uh, the Snickerdoodle ones. And I'm kind of bummed because I didn't really, wasn't, I wasn't paying like a, much of attention, but I thought when I read this macro label that it meant, let's see if it, I can, if it'll focus here. That's no. Let's try this. There we go. Here, um, so I was looking at, I just saw four fat, 27 carb, eight protein, and I was like, oh wow, that's amazing macros for one cookie. But then I saw it's servings per container, eight, and there's four cookies in here. So it looks like, it looks like it's actually eight fat and 54 carbs and 16 protein for a cookie. So eh, a little more fat than I like to spend, but we'll see. Um, I'll eat one of these and give you guys a review. Um, I did get more I'm going through rice cakes like crazy, especially late at night when I have like no fat left. So these two are the non-fat rice cakes. When I'm on like super poverty and I want volume, I'll go with the seven carbs, seven per, seven carbs rice cakes. And then if I want more flavor and crunch, I go for the apple cinnamon. Um, and then I got some more. I've been liking these these little things. Um, Late at night for getting some more fiber in, some multi-grain. These things have like six grams of fiber uh, per English muffin. Uh, and plus they're super low in fat. So only 0 0.5 fat, 24 carb, six grams of fiber, five protein. Plus I made those little mini pizzas on this the other night that were really good. So um, I think that is it guys. I think, oh, I got some more spinach. Uh, I've been just using this uh, spinach and I just add it into my salads just to get some more uh, micronutrients. And then I got a whole nother thing of five dozen eggs. And it's kind of crazy, like Walmart has its own uh, egg brand, but literally in the last week, um, eggs went up from like, it was like $3.83 to like $5. I think this was like $5.50. But uh, I've been going through like freaking eggs like crazy I, this morning i actually just did two whole eggs and five egg whites so that's like seven total eggs that i'm going through so i'll go through those uh packages i keep kind of wondering if i should just buy a liquid finally buy like liquid egg white to the store if that would be a cheaper alternative but for now i usually just crack open the I just crack, crack open a regular egg and separate the uh, the white and then I throw away the yolk. So, um, but that's it guys. That is my, this is my Saturday night. And uh, you know, this is one thing on like contest prep. I kinda, ugh, I kinda become like a recluse. And I, um, you know, usually I'm a person that likes to like go out and be like social with friends. But like I start get I get so consumed with contest prep and making sure that I'm getting all of my macros in and I don't know, I've kind of become like a perfectionist with this stuff and it kind of, it kind of consumes me. So I need to work on um, try, trying to have a healthy balance of this contest prep and then still trying to uh, have a social life and whatnot. But so far I'm not doing that well and I'm only like two weeks in. So I will uh, see you guys in the next right, Guys, this is what I'm eating tonight. Six ounces of 96.4 ground beef. I think that was 10 and a half ounces of sweet potato. And my daily side salad with a diet Pepsi. Even in the press conference, he was very, very... Um, Watching the Olympia he webcast. Yes, yes. You know, He's Friday night. Say it's it's almost, all the days ago. Almost, some, almost too shy sometimes. And I think he's slowly coming out of his shell. It seems so. And, you know, he wants the world to know us at this time. All right, guys. Open pre-judging is over. Now the uh, the manlets, a.k.a. the uh, 212 guys, are up. It's uh, Friday night, September 16th. This is my post workout meal. I kind of stole this idea from uh, Preston uh, Bear. I think this is what he did. I don't know. I kind of, I watched his video and he like, uh, I microwaved some potatoes. I did five potatoes, small russet potatoes. I chopped them up. I uh, put some salt and pepper on them. I put them back in the oven and I put a serving of reduced fat. Um, 
some reduced fat, four cheese Mexican, I put one serving on there and then put it back in the oven so the cheese could melt. I have like three and a half servings of potatoes here, so 91 carbs. And then I have eight ounces of the chicken breast that I just sauteed up here. So I'm probably gonna add some barbecue sauce and a little bit of the uh, no calorie butter spray, but I gotta be careful with this stuff because it can add up. All right, just showing you guys what I'm finishing off my macros with. Uh, 283 protein, 331, whoops, 331. 331 carb and 58 fat got in 31 grams of fiber so here's what I got oh, let me zoom out of here for you guys I got a half serving so 16 grams of almonds I got one uh, toasted coconut vanilla uh, Greek yogurt I have three just broken up uh, apple cinnamon rice cakes and one multi-grain uh, fiber uh, English muffin. And then I have one scoop of machine uh, chocolate ISO, uh, ISO whey with one scoop of the Core Pro uh, cinnamon roll. So this is what my pre-bedtime meal is tonight.